Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Ant Exodus. Here, Ant Exodus speaking, and let's make a new video. Woo! So starting off, we're gonna take a look at two colonies, but first we're gonna look at my Solenopsis Carolinsis colony. It used to be a four queen colony, sadly it's two, I'll explain more about that later. They are very beautiful, they're very small ants, they're actually really small. If you don't know, from the genus Solenopsis, there are two types of Solenopsis. There are the attacking Solenopsis, like Solenopsis Invicta or Geminata, or there are the thief ants, Solenopsis Molesta, Fugax, or Carolinsis, or Pergandi, or a few others. I'm not sure if this is Pergandi or Carolinsis, I just chose Carolinsis because it was the first one that people told me. And yeah, that's why I stick with them. That's one queen and few workers, or hundreds of workers in the colony, they escape a lot. This is a regular standard good ant nest, but I don't get how they escape. So this is one of the things that I wanted to address about my Solenopsis Carolinsis colony. Like I said, they used to have four queens, but for some reason, they killed two of them. I didn't get to see the only one get killed, she just mysteri mysteriously disappeared. But you can see this one's clearly being eaten by the workers. I don't know what happened, I fed them so much, I feed them like one mealworm at least every day. I feed them more now. I'm scared of what's to come. The two queens are right now healthy, they're doing fine, they have tons of larvae. Maybe it's because there were two little workers to care for them, or they weren't doing good. It's really cool because actually when I caught this colony, it was a two queen colony, and then while I was looking at them, I actually found two queens in the middle of the nest, and I was like, whoa, I accidentally caught two queens. That's nice. There's some more footage of the queen being eaten. Like I said, I have no idea what happened and why this happened. Hopefully I find out and get to the bottom of this. These ants look pretty big right now, but they are extremely small. Literally, they are the size of dust. That Well, even smaller sometimes. That's how crazy small they are. If you keep them, they don't enjoy sweets, uh, but they do like protein. Like a lot. They grow really fast because of how small they are. And I'm pretty sure they inbreed like Solenopsis molesta. I'm not sure. I'll have to look into that later on. Yeah, that's about this. I gotta look at this problem later on. I'll check it out. This colony is, I guess, small. It has like a few hundred workers. And that's, I think, small for this colony. Here is a photo of them when they used to have three queens. Now they have two, like I said. You see two queens, clearly. There's one queen in the back. I don't know, you can see Blurry Gaster. Blurry Gaster. But yeah, it's the colony. This is when they had a little brood. They had a ton of eggs. Now they have hundreds of larvae. But this is when they had a ton of eggs and a ton of pupae. This was the early stages when I caught them. These, these ants are very beautiful if you look at them up close with the huge light down. I didn't get any fo footage, sadly. I, I got some photos. Check out my Instagram if you want to see them. This is a better shot of the queen, of one of the queens, and a few workers. I mean, it's amazing how these ants are. These are ants are social creatures, and how they work is so cool, in my opinion. These ants are just amazing, spectacular. I recommend to keep them, but you are going to need a lot of escape proof stuff. Because they're extremely small and escape artists. I'm pretty sure Solenopsis are known to be escape artists. Solenopsis and Victa, they're definitely escape artists. Geminata, Molesta, and Bugax, and so I guess Carolinsis is also um, escape artists. They do, unlike other like crazy Solenopsis, they actually don't have, they don't sting or bite. I think they're too small. They might sting, but I think they're too small. They are very beautiful, like I've said, they have a very light, transparent orange color, for example, like Tapanoma Cecilia type. If you can see the queen right now, it's the same queen that you saw before. There was a queen in this colony, which is very fire, fire gastric or whatever it's called, I kind of don't know, which means that they are, their gaster, where they lay eggs, is really big because of how much they lay eggs. And this is not one of the queens, it's the other queen that we saw in the back. But it's crazy how fire gaster they can be. If you don't know what that is, like I said before, it's when the queen lays eggs so much and their gaster becomes humongous. 
And they look so pretty when that happens. They, these guys are at, like, their, their queen is like the size of a tendothorax worker in my opinion. Now, this is how they look under a light. Aren't they beautiful? This is a more modern picture from later on. This is when they had a ton of larvae, as you can see, it was different. But that was like a week ago, actually. Well, that's how much larvae they got in a week. It's amazing how much they can get larvae. It's just so cool. And yeah, let's move on. Here you can see my beautiful Campanotis of Rats colony. It's a two queen colony, very amazing, as you can see. And right now, what you just saw before was a major, a major newly closed major, and what you're looking at right now are some mini majors. They're, act they're actually like half super majors, they're not the super super majors. The super super majors are the one, it's the one all day to the right, you can see their gaster. These guys are being used as repletes right now. Campanotis subaratus are, in my opinion, they're subterranean species, I don't see them that much out in the wild. As you can see, they're used for like replete storage. Now you can see these are massive compared to the workers. They're actually very small, Campanotis. Um, compared to Campanotis chromiotes, they are they dwarf. These guys are around the size of Formica workers. Now for the best part about this colony, this is a two queen Campanotis subratus colony. I caught them in the wild. They both had two queens in the beginning. And they just love each other. As you can see, they are right now affectionately touching each other with their antenna. It's a sign that they are friendly. This right now, period, it looks like they were kind of asleep or something. Ants do have naps. They take power naps. We're pretty cool looking at them like this. It was really calm and settling. I could literally watch these guys for hours. You guys do not know. These, this colony is one of my favorite colonies. Extremely beautiful under light. As you can see, look at all of that color. So it's a little blurry shot, my bad. But this is a colony, normal day. A lot of cocoons, as you can see. It's very beautiful. There's a like, few layers to this colony because this colony is pretty big Campanotis colony, if you didn't know. There are, as you can see, there's major, a replete right there. If you don't know what repletes are, repletes are majors with huge abdomens that are used for storage. So if, they have, if there's a famine, then they use those repletes. This, thank you for watching guys. This concludes the video. Be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, share, and do whatever. Go check out my Instagram, ants.exodus, where I post mostly daily, and I post really good content if you want to check that out. It's nice. More recent posts about my colonies. Yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and Sexodus, signing out.